G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I want to give you my five top tips on how to grow a ton of mint in just one container. Tip number one, location and contain. Mint grows and multiplies via horizontal runners that the plant sends out. These runners, they have nodes which readily root down and that essentially creates the new plants. I made the mistake years ago and only once when I planted mint out into the general garden bed. For the next 12 months, it took over the whole backyard and I was spending hours trying to control it and pull it out. It just kept popping up everywhere. It drove me nuts. So for that reason, I recommend growing mint in isolation. Whether it be in a large raised garden bed like this one, or a large container, or a pot, or in a separate rockery, or a separate part of the garden where you know it can't escape. As far as location goes, mint is a very versatile plant. It'll grow well in full sun, and also part shade. In a hot climate, you might consider growing mint in a partly shaded position, just to protect it from the extreme heat it doesn't like that a lot and if you're in a really cold climate I would strongly suggest you plant it out somewhere where it gets full sun. Having said that though I do live in a hot climate the subtropics and mint grows very well out in the full sun for me. Tip number two prune your mint. Pruning your mint plant encourages new growth that is succulent rather than woody and tough. Succulent plump leaves and stems are much better in smoothies and cooking etc rather than the you know terrible tough and stringy stuff that you could get if you just left it grow wild. Look you'll naturally prune your mint through the growing season anyway as you eat it but if you don't for some reason after a few weeks just remember to give it a clip around the edges Give it a bit of a haircut and it'll love you for it. You want to prune your mint heavily, like I mean drastically, that's what I do personally, when it goes dormant. For a cold climate, mint usually goes dormant through winter. In a warmer climate like mine, the subtropics, mint will go dormant through summer, the hottest part of the year. So yes, uh, again, it's versatile in that way where it will adapt to extreme conditions either way. So whenever the plant is dormant, that's when I give it a really harsh prune back. I mean almost down to the roots. And I get rid of all the woody growth, all the old stuff, and just prune it right back down to nothing almost. Tip number three, feed your mint once with an organic fertilizer. Just a standard fertilizer, either store or from animals like your own chickens make sure it's not wet fresh poo as that could kill the plant it should be dry or composted down but whatever you use sprinkle it around the base of the plant and not on the leaves i reckon it's best to fertilize towards the end of that dormant stage just like i was talking about before or as the plant is just starting to shoot that could be in spring in some climates or coming into winter depending on what climate you're in. Now I feed my mint with just a small amount of organic fertilizer. I just sprinkle it around the base of the plant because it's a hardy herb. It doesn't need a whole lot of fertilizer. In fact, if you over fertilize it, it could become leggy and stringy and not do very well at all. Also, if you over fertilize it, you could actually kill the plant. And always remember after you've applied fertilizer, give it a good water in with a watering can or a hose to make sure that it's the fertilizer is watered right in well and it's also off the leaves so it doesn't burn the leaves. Tip number four, water mint regularly. Now especially if you've got mint growing in a container that's got loose potty mix, loose soil or types of sandy soil mix or in a sandy location make sure you water it regularly. At least twice a week, I would. Now, if you're unsure if the plant's getting enough water, 
all you need to do is stick your finger in up to the first or second knuckle pull it out and have a feel if it's damp and wet well then the plant doesn't need water if it's dry give it a drink real quick if your mint is growing in heavy conditions like a heavy soil or a clay well water it less obviously tip number five don't worry about pests and disease whatever you do don't spray your mint with pesticides or other chemicals it's really not required this is a salad crop it's a smoothie crop it's a it's it's a leafy crop you don't want to be putting chemical residue on these leaves because it can be ingested so easily pests and disease can be kept under control with mint quite easily by just simply picking the pests off when you find them caterpillars and grasshoppers they can be easily picked off or shooed away look they don't eat that much anyway as far as diseased leaves go that's the same go through see any diseased leaves or, or leaves with fungus on them just pick them off and throw them out in fact in tip number two regular pruning will help control a lot of the pests and diseases anyway by airing the plant out and letting it rejuvenate itself so that's it those are my five top tips on how to grow a ton of mint in just one container location and contain pruning fertilizer water and pests if you do all those five things right you will grow a ton of mint just like this and then you could do what you want you could make huge smoothies you could make big salads you could use it in cooking i tell you what in the comments section below leave your favorite way of using mint i look forward to reading them thanks a lot for watching don't forget the website selfsufficientme.com also give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe already will you bye for now